Hi guys, today we are going to do our compare and contrast lesson with the two texts, the most important service, and in my opinion, goods and services are important. So we're going to be looking at these two texts, and then we're also going to be doing this double bubble comparison chart in our lesson today. So make sure you have that handy. I'm going to start by rereading the two texts and as I'm reading I want you to pay close attention to some different things that will help us compare and contrast. First I want you to think about the different features that you find in each text. Okay, Think about if there are captions, if there are photographs, if there are headings, those kinds of things. I also want you to think about the structure. How did the author organize the text? And what's the author's purpose for writing the text? I also want you to think about content. What information or opinions are we hearing in the text? And are they the same or are they different? And last, I, I would like you to think about what was the purpose for each of the um, authors. Were they writing to inform, to persuade, or to entertain us? Okay, we'll start by reading The Most Important Service. That book was um, from a couple of weeks ago, so we're going to revisit that. The Most Important Service. People provide services or important work for one another. Here are three opinions about which service is the most important. I think firefighters provide the most important service. Firefighters are trained to put fires out quickly. They rescue or save people and their pets from burning buildings. Firefighters work hard to prevent fires from spreading. I think that police officers provide the most important service. Police officers do many things that keep people safe. They patrol the streets and make sure that everyone obeys or follows the laws. They also solve crimes. Police officers provide an important service by helping people feel safe and protected. Police officers visit schools and talk to students. In my opinion, farmers provide the most important service. Everyone needs food to live. Farmers grow delicious food that help us stay healthy. Farmers grow carrots, corn, beans, apples, grapes, and more. We can even thank farmers for the milk and juice we drink. Farmers help us grow. A farmer's market is a place to meet the farmers who grow your food. Firefighters, police officers, and farmers are, all provide important services. They keep us safe from fires. They protect us from harm. They provide lots of good food. Think about people who are providing services in your community every day. In your opinion, who provides the most important service? People who provide services make our neighborhoods better. Okay, so let's think about that text a little bit before we move on to the next one. This text definitely had some features. There were photographs, captions. It had a title. This text told us information, but it also had some opinions from different people um, in the text. Now we're gonna take a look at goods and services are important, which was this week's text that we read. Well, Oops. just going back to the beginning here. Okay. This text was called Goods and Services Are Important. In my opinion, goods and services are important. There's a table of contents here, okay, which we did not have in the first text, an introduction. Goods are things that people grow, make, buy, or sell. Food, clothing, cars, and homes are examples of goods. Services are work that people do for one another. For example, doctors, mechanics, and police officers provide services. All people need goods and services. In this book, you'll hear people's opinions about which goods and services are most important to them. Eating to survive. 
In my opinion, the most important good is food because people cannot live without it. Food gives people energy. It helps people stay healthy. People grow, make, buy, and sell food. Food is more important than any other good. Saving lives. In my opinion, doctors and nurses provide the most important service because they take care of people. Doctors and nurses give medicine to sick people. They help people get well. Doctors and nurses save lives every day. I think they perform the most important service. Using technology. In my opinion, goods made for technology are important because they make people's lives easier. For example, telephones help people communicate. Computers help people do their work and learn new skills. Cars, buses, and airplanes take people where they need to go. Telephones, computers, and ways to travel make people's lives easier every day. Helping us learn. In my opinion, teachers provide the most important service. They work hard to help children succeed. Teachers help students learn to read and write. They teach children how to explore and solve problems. Teachers provide the most important service of all. Conclusion. You just read four people's opinions about the goods and services that are important to them. What good or service do you think is most important? And here's our picture glossary at the end. Okay, so at the beginning, I asked you to pay attention to the features that you noticed in both the texts so that we can compare and contrast them. So I noticed right away that the both of the books had photographs. So remember, in a double bubble map, in the middle, you're going to write things that both the texts had in common. Movie is frozen, so hold on. Let me pause this for a second. Okay, we're back in business here, sorry. Um, okay, in the middle, you're gonna write things that are the same about both texts, okay? So both texts had photographs, so I'm gonna write photos for my first item, okay? But I noticed that in the most important service, the photographs had captions. Okay, but the photographs, in my opinion, goods and services are important, did not. Okay, I also noticed that, in my opinion, goods and services are important, had an introduction and a conclusion, and that did not happen in the first text. Those are some features that were different in the two texts, okay? I also asked you to pay attention to the content in the text. What was it about? And was the content the same or was the content different? And I noticed that in both texts, the content was about people's opinions. Both texts had different opinions, okay? The most important service was all about services. In my opinion, talked about opinions about good, goods and services. So they both told about opinions, but they told about opinions in a different way. Okay. I also noticed that both texts told about opinions, about services, but they had different opinions. In this text, it talked about police officers providing the most important service. So I'm gonna write police officers are most important. And in the second text, it said that teachers are the most important. Okay. 
I also noticed this text, both texts were opinions. They included opinions. They also included reasons for those opinions. So part of the author's purpose for this text was to persuade us that these goods and services are important. But this text also told us facts about services and about goods that we buy. So the text had that in common. Okay, another difference that I noticed in the text was that this had a glossary. And this text used speech bubbles. Okay, so I hope that helped you with your comparing and your contrasting of these two texts. See if you can think of any other ways that the texts are the same or different. Good job. I'll see you next time.